Welcome to Mad TV. Now, with the move of the bookshop to the new Appleseed Bookshop in the Learning Resource Centre, students have been wondering, what's going into this empty space? Now, you may have noticed the area's been cut into two, so we wanted to know what students wanted to see out of these two new facilities. Let's go find out. It'd be nice to um, have a cheaper convenience store, because um, we've got Amigos, and that's really expensive, <laughs> you know, and with students. Preferably like convenience store that sells both food and also the basic sort of uh, products that you'd find in uh, you'd find also in the uh, bookshop and Amigos as well. I mean, not really like um, not quite like newspapers or magazines, but perhaps you know the basic sort of like stationary things that we would need. Just um, a place that's dedicated just to stationery. Because although Appleseed have got like really good sort of products and stuff, it'd be nice to have a wider range. Yeah, uh, I reckon a burrito shop would be uh, good. Something uh, the students could actually uh, buy for cheap, because uh, uh, some of the prices uh, around campus aren't so uh, student friendly. So, yeah. So if we're downstairs, we want a strip club. Not a strip club. Um, what else do you want? Uh, Don't make out like this. So now I can reveal some of the things that the university are planning to do with this new facility. First off is going to be a Santander bank, and if you look closely you can even see where the cash machine is going to be. The other half is going to be split into two, where the first part will be a Unitemps, which is currently situated outside of Rubik's and is getting a slight upsizing. Then the last part of the space will be used for students, where they will be able to start their own businesses and get a small retail space on campus. Students will submit a proposal and a business plan to the university and then compete against each other and eventually someone will get that space to use. So what do you think? The uh, uni temp and the, uh, the idea about doing student businesses, that's uh, actually a very, very good idea. Uh, I quite like it. Uh, the bank uh, kind of feels obsolete. Um, yeah, if you're doing like, um, you know, business, business management, management or something like that, it could really like um, excel some people in like that way. Like if you wanted to open like, like a fashion store, you know, some people who like doing that as a hobby or something. I would actually be quite pleased with that because, you know, I use Santander for my bank account, so that would be very good for me to check many mini statements or whenever anything was going on, which I think it's okay. I mean, the fact that we've got two banks on on campus would be, uh, you know, that, that would be okay with me. Well, we have NatWest. We do? Um, actually, actually, that's quite a good idea. Um, but I think we need um, our suggestions. <laughs> uh, I feel like it'll benefit the students quite uh, well, actually, to have those. Uh, yeah. Well, there you have it. While there are mixed opinions about there being a new bank on campus, there will be a space for students to start their own businesses. I'm Charles Gray, and you've been watching Mad TV.